question is, what do you look for in rough water performance in a boat? The truth of the matter is, fiberglass boats have a hull shape that allows for a little bit drier ride and a little bit smoother ride. Aluminum boats allow for a better hole shot, and that's really important when you're trying to traverse big waves because the boat will be a lot more responsive compared to the sluggishness of, that a glass boat will give you. So what you'd like to really have is an ideal boat that would have both characteristics. There's really not any out there other than this boat here. This is kind of a, a different type of technology. It's a stretch form aluminum hull, and what that means is that the boat has the characteristics of aluminum. Great hole shot, unbelievable responsiveness, but it is, was actually built off of a fiberglass style mold. What you want to look for in, in a boat that's going to give you the best rough water performance is a very steep entry point, a, a steep V, a very good sharp deep V. This boat actually has a very, very narrow entry point so that it's not going to slap and pound real hard. Uh, it's shaped with reverse chines to throw the water out to the side. And then even further, when you're getting into big waves, this big flare here kicks the water off to the side. That makes for a dry, smooth ride. Even though this is an aluminum boat, which gives you again that hole shot and the responsiveness, it's shaped like a fiberglass boat. It has reverse running strakes. What that means is when the boat comes down on rough water, it cushions the fall. So you don't get that pound, pound, pound effect. It also throws the water down and out, which gives you more of a cushioning effect. It has a very severe reverse chine built into it. Again, that results in cushioning effect, throwing the water out into the side instead of up into the air where the wind can get it back and spray it in your face. The other thing that this boat has is a, is a setback, just like a fiberglass boat would have. It gives you better performance and top end speed. So you not only have that rough water running capability and a, a smooth dry ride, but you have the speed associated with it. And the last thing that this boat has is a running pad, which is not as much for rough water, but if it calms out, the boat's going to actually be able to increase more speed. That gives you the capability of having speed with a smaller upward. This is the only boat that has the best of both fiberglass and aluminum wrapped up into one package. So for my money, the Tundra, overall, is the best riding rough water boat out there.